All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to BlizzCon. We are here for the World of Warcraft Arena Grand Finals. It's such an exciting tournament so far. Of course, I am joined by Hood Rich, my co-caster, Adam Brown. Adam Brown, Hood Rich here. All right, and of course, we do have a special guest with us today for this match. Such an exciting moment for WoW Esports. Thank you very much. Why don't you go ahead and introduce him? We've got... Uh, Conan O'Brien. Conan O'Brien, thank you. <laughs> thank you, uh, Adam and Jared. It's great to be here at WoW, uh, World of Warcraft, Blizzard, with all the blizzies. So how much do you know about uh, World of Warcraft? I've played it for about 16 minutes. OK, And good. then I was killed when I fell into a snowbank. So oh. are you going to help us out casting these matches then? I think oh. I'm uh, perfectly prepared to yeah. help uh, call this match. I think I have all the requisite skills. And I think I'll be the best color commentator you've ever had. I am excited for this match. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's take a look at our tournament rules, of course. We do have, uh, a little bit differently from when you guys are playing at home, of course, these, char these players cannot use any add-ons uh, whatsoever during the matchup. Um, so that's going to be a big factor for these players. You know, they don't have the comfort of sitting in their home chair. Uh, you know, at home and, and have their monitor just right how they like it. Uh, we took the teams from all the regions and we grouped them into two groups of four. You know, we separated the North American, the Chinese, and the European team so that they didn't have to face each other. Uh, we are going to be playing on the Grand Arena as the first map every single time, and then the loser gets to pick at that point. And of course, we are playing best of five. Yeah, I mean, and we just saw MIR play. They took their 3-0 they uh, win fairly easily, and uh, it was an exciting match. I mean, I think they played well. Uh, and um, up next, we're going to have another powerhouse team, Skill Capped, coming up here. So it'll be interesting to see what they do against this uh, kind of unknown Flash Wolves team. Yeah, you really got to keep your eye on Skill Cap. Uh, they're coming on strong. There's a good buzz on them. Uh, and, uh, and I think they performed well in various arenas and through many realms and worlds. Absolutely. Yes. They have, yeah. This is uh, two of the players on the team have been around playing tournaments since about 2007. So it's been a long time coming for these guys to be on the big stage. Yeah, and they're hungry. The word out there is they're very hungry. They want this. They want to go all the way. All right. And of course, going all the way means that they are going to be in place for prizes on, Sun on Saturday, or rather. You know, the top four teams is going to make it to the playoffs. And I mean, $105,000 for first place for playing a video game. Yes, $105,000, which works out to about. 35 euros, I believe, given the weakness of the dollar uh, for any European teams. But very exciting. Everyone's very excited. Very exciting. <laughs> and it's a big, big uh, chunk of change to, to happen in a weekend for playing a video game. And all these guys that have been here before, and they, they all want to come out with, uh, with the win this time. Absolutely. And as long as they can make it through the group stage, they are going to be in that top four spot. So you get money no matter what, as long as you can make it to Saturday. Right. And, uh, and I, I think Skill Cap is one of the teams that is, that is going to make it there. So we'll see what they can do. You know, I'd be very surprised not to see Skill Cap go all the way. In fact, uh, if I was a betting man, uh, I'd put a lot of money on Skill Cap. I'd, that's not condoned. And I, uh, well, they are a crowd favorite. I mean, well, Tavadar, uh, you know, Channel, Soda, huge names. Yeah. And, yeah. and the strange guy behind me with the hat, very excited about Skill Cap. You can tell. <laughs> Look at yeah. him. Huge yeah. skill cap fan. Yeah, well, he just lost me with that movement right there. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, they are crowd favorites. I mean, these, these players, everyone knows who these guys are. So, you know, they have definitely a strong Southern California crowd backing them up here. Yes, yes, very strong. And uh, pretty much their, their groupies are uh, legendary. Uh, these, uh, this team, they roll through, and when they party, they party hard. Yeah. And uh, I mean, this is World of Warcraft. This is what they're doing about it. Yeah, exactly. World of Warcraft. All right, so let's take a look at our brackets, of course. You know, our Group A, which is the group that we're going through right now, we did see our first match of the day, the last battle, losing to MIR. You know, that was, even though it was a 3-0, it was pretty close in a lot of the matches. Um, and of course, right now, we are going to have Skill Captive versus Flash Wolves. So you see, one of our most important matches of the day could be happening very soon if Skill Capped can win. Yeah, I mean, uh, if we're predicting here, we could say skill capped coming out of this and going into the upper bracket and playing MIR, that those are probably the two top teams in this tournament, and they could be playing each other uh, shortly after this. So it all depends on what Flash Whips can bring. Um, what is the uh, comps that they can run? I've seen them run a lot of things. You know, it, it's interesting with Flash Wolves, you know, being able to swap to the Warrior. We saw, saw them played a lot. I do believe that they brought in 
Um, I do believe it was Warrior Lock Shaman as their, their main comp that that's they right. brought in. Yes, um, yes, that's true. They brought in the Shaman. Uh, standard move, a uh, move that didn't surprise anybody, really. Uh, and the Shaman uh, was able to bring uh, various potions and skills, lotions and creams, and uh, was able to prevail through a series of amazing moves. Well, it's always good to carry those. Yeah. Uh, the weaponry is impressive that they've brought. We've got uh, hammers and knives and uh, sickles and uh, uh, flaming broad axes. Uh, all the standard fare. Mm -hmm. But I'm very uh, excited to see who uses the intimidating shout. Intimidating shout, not often used. But uh, we'll see who brings it today. Yeah, and that's a warrior ability. So it basically, you, you press it, and it fears everybody. Yes, and yes. And they cower in fear. Yes, my father employed it in the mid-70s mm -hmm. to uh, keep uh, six children in line. And it, it worked, works to this day. Very excited. I'm getting a lot of blank stares from both of you. You <laughs> seem to. Understand. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, and uh, of course we do have Zoe with our players on stage right now, so let's have her chat with them a bit before the big match. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, we are back here in the main stage, and of course we now need to get those teams here on stage, so please give it up for the first team coming first in the region of North America, Skill Capped! <laughs> And all the way over from Taiwan, we're gonna have here on stage <laughs> the Flash Wolves. Please give it up for them. And that is gonna be our second match of the day. So please, team captains, stay with me, and the rest can already take a seat on uh, their tables. Uh, so we're gonna have a little chat with uh, Soda as well as Shun Shu. And uh, we're gonna start off with you, your team, or rather all the names in your team. You're, you're seasoned. You've been you've been on um, big tournaments. You should be. You look very calm as well. Are you as calm as you look like? Uh, not really. I'm kind of nervous being on stage right now, but uh, I'm excited to play, and I'm pretty much ready to go. All right, being ready, that's good, that's good. So what are your thoughts on your opponents here, the Flash Wolves? Um, I'm a little bit worried because we didn't practice against them. We had an opportunity to fight pretty much every team backstage except them. So we don't really know what's going to happen. So it should be interesting. Interesting is good. That's exactly what we want to see. So now to my other side, I have uh, Shun Sha from uh, Team Flash Wolves and of course also a lovely translator. Um, I, I just want to know from your side of, uh, of you, like, are, are you confident going up against such a seasoned team, such a skill cap? Zoe, uh, you said you have a chance to win this match. Yeah, they will try their best and they are pretty confident. All right, that's good. Have you, have you practiced something specifically for each team or just in general how to go up against different comps? Uh, yes. Uh, well, he said yes, yes. Yes, good. <laughs> so please, gentlemen, shake hands. Shake hands, there we go. And we're going to get that first game rolling. And for that, of course, we hand it over to our lovely cast of trio. All right, thank you, Zoe. Now, we are going to be getting into this exciting matchup right now. So if I had to put you on the spot, which team do you think is going to prevail in this? I was totally behind uh, skill cap until I saw the hair on the head of the uh, Taiwanese team, Flash Wolves. That's an amazing hairstyle, an amazing head of hair, and I'm totally with Flash Wolves now. I know they're the underdog, I know that's unpopular, but that's an incredible head of hair. All right, so let's take a look at our teams right now. Of course, this is skill capped. If you guys have been following along tournaments over the years, you know the guy right to your left is going to be Soda. We see him showing up on so many different teams, playing the healer role in most of the time. And of course, we do have on the end, hidden from the camera right now, is going to be Talbadar. And he is going to be playing that hybrid role, normally choosing to go with Shadow Priest or Elemental Shaman. And of course, rounding it out is Chanimal, the Warlock. And he likes to talk a lot of trash. Yes, he does. Chanimal's a uh, trash talker, and he will be, as you said, playing which role? The Shaman? The Warlock. Yes, that's what I said. He'll be the Warlock. Uh, I believe his father was a Warlock and his father before him. So uh, this is a family that's been playing this game for well over 85 years. <laughs> Back when it was impressive. a steam-powered game. And uh, we're very impressed to see what they can do. They work well as a unit. There's been some friction, as we all know. There was a brief breakup, but uh, they seem to have worked out their problems and they're back. 
All right, and we have the team of Flash Wolves. Of course, we do have the Prank Cat playing the Paladin, uh, which is going to be the healer on the team. And then we have Night Train playing the Hunter, and uh, Shunsha, the, the one with the great hair, playing the Warrior. Yes, and he should play the Warrior. With hair like that, he's aggressive. He knows what to do. Paladin as the healer could be fantastic. And of course, you have your Hunter always necessary. This is an incredible matchup. It is. Now, this, this setup right here means the game is going to go quick. Yes. Like our last matchups, you know, we had a lot of lulls in the action where they were trying to crowd control and like stop the enemy team from yes. putting out damage. But when you have a warrior and a hunter, it's just constant damage. This is going to move very quick. Well, actually, uh, to be grammatically correct, quickly. Sorry. Uh, it will move quickly. Uh, and there's going to be a lot of action. It's going to get very intense, but I think we're up to the challenge. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if any, if any games could go either way, it could be this one right here. I mean, Flash Wolves playing the underdog, but that comp is it's capable of so much damage, so much crowd control early that we could see an upset, but it's going to be interesting to see what they can do. I'm telling you, as someone who has seen no matches throughout his life, this is probably the best one I've ever seen. It's exciting, and I can't wait to see how it unfolds. All right, and if you're following along at home on Twitter, uh, make sure you give a shout out for the team you think is going to to win this. I mean, I know we have a lot of skill capped fans online, so make sure you use the hashtag BlizzCon and uh, tweet your prediction. Hashtag Team Coco if you're yeah. a fan. And if you are watching at home and following us on Twitter, you should probably get your own apartment eventually. <laughs> Just something I thought should be said. Absolutely. And it looks like, oh, look at that. The teams are getting in right now. Getting ready. This is exciting. They're sitting at the same tables they were sitting at before. They're ready. They are, and you can see these teams, you know, it's, this is their first matchup, so they've been playing out back, you know, sitting in the comfort, being behind the curtain, not, uh, not having the stress of these immen uh, the immense crowd. Um, so we are going to have, of course, on our left is going to be the team of skill cap. We are going to have Soda playing that Resto Druid, Talbadar playing an Elemental Shaman, and Chanimal playing Warlock. Yep, no surprises to the cops here. I mean, they're playing what they know is the best. And, uh, you know, Talbot are not opting to play on that Shadow Priest. Obviously, it'd be a bad idea versus a cleave like this. Let's see what he can do on this Elemental Shaman. The floor is open. All right. And they are entering this large chamber, which seems to have a stone floor. It's fascinating. Interesting choice of floor. It's an easy floor to clean, stone floor. It absolutely is. And all the blood that's going to be spilled this weekend, uh, that's a very important feat. I'm seeing a lot of fire. I'm seeing a lot of running around. Uh, Looks like they're mixing it up very quickly. They're trying to put a lot of damage on a Channel, the Warlock here. He's, he's the cloth target on that team, so the Warrior and the Hunter are going to put a lot of pressure. But as you can see, Night Train and, and Shunsha, they're dipping fairly low right now to the spread pressure of this uh, Lock Shaman Druid. Yes, they are losing uh, their Gorgon juice very quickly, and we might be seeing them headed into Shan Shea territory momentarily. And you can see uh, th those are all the cooldowns right there from the Warrior. That was a Reckless's Avatar, Bladestorm, everything. He's dipping low. It looks like they're trying to reverse some pressure back onto him. We do see the bubble out of Prank Cat, so he's not going to have that later. Uh, they're trying to connect onto Channimals, but the LSD is doing well by, you know, using their ports, using their gateways, their cooldowns to avoid as much damage as possible. Well, ports and gateways, of course, important, but you've got to make sure that these Paladins are, um, are loaded up high on their uh, various quotients. Absolutely. You just agreed to something that made no sense. <laughs> Incredible, and yet you're a professional. Uh, here we go. How are we doing? Gentlemen, what's your take on this? This so, is really surprising. One of the things I'm noting out of Shunsha right now is he's choosing to play in battle stance, which yes. means he's not going to be as tanky. We saw the defensive stance come out, but it's normally when he's below half health instead of preempting the damage. Yes, and if he'd eaten properly, maybe he'd be at full health, but he chose a high caloric diet. And, oh, uh, that train is just going to get dipped Incredible. Right Did you just see what happened? Did you see what happened? The they tried to do the scatter trap on the soda. It was grounded by Talbadar. Incredible and uh, unbelievable. I heard the crowd react. I didn't know what happened, but I acted as if I had. So we see uh, someone's down with a banner. Anything you'd like to say? Well, uh, it was an exciting match. We saw the amount of damage that can come out of Talbadar, you know, when his procs line up correctly. The Shaman throwing those huge fire damage from the Lava Burst. and, and uh, they I didn't see the Lava Burst coming. I have to tell you, uh, before this match, if you had said we'd see the Lava Burst, I'd have told you there's no way. There's no way in God's green yeah. earth. But we saw a Lava Burst. We did. Lots of it. I have no idea who won. Could you please just tell me quickly? <laughs> So the, the team of uh, skill cap one channel. Yes, the, the yes, I knew that. Skill cap, of course. Our, yep. Skill cap. I feel bad. So for the, the underdogs other won. The guy with the hair. Yeah, uh, that's incredible. They, they uh, did lose. Uh, very surprising. Uh, Flash wolves. What they couldn't come now? through. Couldn't come through. What happens we'll to Flash Wolves now? I mean, the first game is always, uh, you know, the one where you get your, your, your feel in. You see what, how the other team plays. Obviously, the LSD is playing, splitting a lot of damage onto the warrior, onto the hunter. They're not just tunneling one target. Um, 
Maybe the Warlock wasn't the best target. You know, no, no, no. Yeah, you know, anyone who uh, chooses a Warlock as a target is playing a fool's game, and I think that's been the case no, since day one. I can hear the crowd behind me agreeing uh, that it's not the way to go. No. If you're a healer, heal. Uh, other than that, uh, you've got your orcs, you've got your gnomes, you've got your elves. Uh, it's important to play the game as it should be played. I'm speaking with the confidence of someone who knows what he's saying, <laughs> and yet the content of what I'm saying belies that I'm babbling like a fool. Gentlemen, what's next? All right, oh, so we are going that. to the sewers next okay. for our next matchup, and it is going to be Dalaran sewers. And this uh, this map is one of our um, our dynamic maps. There's going to be a rush of water that comes down from the center, and it'll knock anyone away. Yes. But then they, you can't see through the target, so your character can't cast spells on people who are through the waterfall. No, spells do not pass through water. I yep. think that should be... Uh, I don't care what your powers are, they will not pass through water, and I think that should be uh, reiterated. And said once again, which is interesting choice uh, of map here from the losers. Though, do, do you agree that Dalaran may not be the best choice? It's going to be a rough map for them. However, they are going to have lots of uptime on their target. You know, the addition of those extra stairs, because before knockoffs were just so important. Yes. And with the team having possibly three knockoffs, they can yes. send the casters down to the bottom. As and here they go. This is exciting. They're making their moves. Channel going to get that gateway here. The warrior does try to charge in and stop it, but he does get it. And interesting to note that Channel is playing with the Void Walker here. Uh, I guess, you know, worried that if they go for the pet kills, uh, that would uh, cause some trouble. But the Void Walker going to be very tanky pet for Channel. They're very tanky pet. I wouldn't have, uh, but you'll see. You'll see. Time will tell. And look at that. They're starting with lots of damage right from the start. As we see, Heart of the Wild used by Soda extremely early from the start. And a lot of cooldowns out of Prank Cat already. As you see, his wings are up with the Divine Favor, trying to heal his teammates as they switch it from Night Train onto Chuncha, who's taking a lot of damage. And now you see the defensive stance out of him pretty late. Yeah, late to go defensive, in my opinion, but that's not the way I would have played it. I'm interested what's in those crates. They're playing near crates. No one's talking about what's inside the crates. I hope it's not something flammable. That's potions. Not okay, what are we doing now? All right, so the big thing is the warrior has used just about all of his defensive cooldowns, which means if they attack him again, he's going to be in trouble. Yeah, he yes. did go through that shield wall, that rallying cry. Does the uh, Colossus smash on Soda here? I don't know if they were trying to target him for a little while or not, but uh, warrior does seem to be the main target for this team. No, yeah, warrior's usually other targets. I think that uh, goes without saying. I wouldn't even have mentioned it. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of flame. I'm seeing a lot of green fire. Uh, it's all playing out just as I predicted. Yeah, the, the one to watch here is going to be Talbadar, the, the elemental shaman on skill capped. He's the one who's going to be going in for the burst, the lava burst uh, kills. It looks like there's a big triple howled right there. Night train into some trouble. He does get that deterrence off uh, fairly low. Talbadar, that is, uh, looks like his, a lot of his cooldowns there are going to be negated by that, but they're switching it over to Prank Cat. They might get the bubble out of him. Goes down to 2K and he's yes. going to die. Yes! I'm not sure if he uh, still had his bubble or not. Incredible. I don't, I don't think he did have his bubble. I've seen a lot of matches again, uh, and I don't think he had his bubble. I don't think he had his bubble. Yeah, it's just one of the heat of the moment things, you know. Right. They, since uh, bubble is on the global cooldown, which means you can cast a spell every every one and a half seconds. You don't have seconds. to explain that yep. to me. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's a little condescending. Uh, I uh, would once again love to know who won. Uh, wasn't really following that. Skill cap one again. Skill cap one again, yeah. as I predicted. Flash wolves having a difficult time. Um, Tough day. For Need to channel the hair. That warrior, you know, he, he was doing a great job at the beginning, putting the pressure out. You know, they, they forced uh, Heart of the Wild out really early from Soto, which was an important deciding factor of the, the very beginning of the match. Um, but then once they started training the warrior and doing a lot of damage to him, you know, he just went through all of his defensive cooldowns, and uh, it really forced his paladin to use his healing cooldowns very, very early. Very effective strategy to force a paladin uh, to use uh, his healing powers to uh, mitigate the cooldowns is a classic move. Exactly, it's been, yeah. been around for a long time. But once you get those cooldowns and you've mitigated them, it's time to go to Shadow Warrior Stance or Shadow Fog or into Blitz, Blitzenhofen. Intimidating but we'll show. see. Yeah, and then Soup's on the boil. Once Soup's mm -hmm. on the boil, you've got something going. I'll tell you that. Right. And I'll take Chowder any day. It's my favorite soup. So, this is exciting, gentlemen. One of the, some of the best matches we've seen. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it played out pretty much how, how we, I think we expected uh, for the most part. I mean, the Cleave comes in, the, the Hunter Warrior Paladin comes in. Yes. They've got a lot of front uh, upload, front pressure, but they're, they're not able to seal the deal. I mean, you have a team, uh, the skill cap team, they're seasoned players. They've been here. They have a hybrid on their team. It's much harder to kind of land that crowd control with groundings from the Shaman. And, uh, you know, they're just not able to actually carry their momentum, whereas no. the, the Lock Shaman Druid just spreads pressure and, as you can see, can just catch anything in a couple globals and, and finish them off. Yeah. Well, Lock Shaman Druid, uh, that's the way to go. And basically, I've learned to take the last sentence that you've said and repeat it 
uh, in a confident yeah, Just tone. agree. And that's how I'm getting through this. Good. This is incredible. Okay, now they're behind a wall, and it looks like there's some kind of precipitation. I didn't think there'd be snow in this game. This is exciting. Yeah, You're seeing this a light snow. I think we're in Sweden now, I believe. This is one of the, the new maps, right? Tiger's mm -hmm. Peak. Yep, it is. And, and uh, for our new expansion, uh, Miss Pandaria, this was the new arena map that we added for it. You know, it has a... Uh, it has the theme of the tigers everywhere. It's called Tiger's Peak. We're going to see some statues. And it's got interesting uh, landscapes. You know, they can hide behind the statues. There's going to be little gazebo-type areas that they can jump off of. OK, we're through the gate. Snow still following. Snow expected through the weekend. So if you've got uh, weekend plans, make sure you get those changed. Huge, huge damage on the Talvadar already. Yes. It looks like they're going to be uh, ignoring Channel and possibly going on the Talvadar. You see the Colossus smash onto him, web roots onto him. Uh, we have the Wyvern Sting onto Soda. He's going to be able to get out of that, but a lot of damage. Talbotar taking that gateway. The gateway is going to mean everything. Warriors already popped all of his cooldowns. They See have... if they can catch Soda into anything. He is into a silencing shot right now. No, but, uh... It's about the gateway. This game's about the gateway and about the light snow. Snow through the weekend. That's a low pressure for us. All right, and he's half, half health right now. Talbotar with that Colossus smash on him. There we go. Soon you, again, waiting so long to use defensive stance. Wait too long and for that defensive Talbotar, stance. Talbotar just it. trinketed into a hex. He was caught into a clone there, trinketed late into a hex. That Warrior's going to have to use. Uh, Rallying cry that faded. That's why he needed to use shield wall. He's going to be out of cooldowns. The hunter's under pressure now. This is not looking good for oh, for wow. the uh, the other team here. Yeah, this really is late deterrence. You know, he's he's really low on health. As Prankat having to bubble right there, so that was a big cooldown right there. But he's not even catching up on heals. This is not looking good. This is uh, looking for the no. team of flash wolves. Yeah, flash wolves again having a hard time. And I saw goats for a while there running through. Goats or rams, don't know what that's all about. Uh, Seems so to it's probably us. one of the Hunter pets, and the Hunter is in trouble right now. Let's see if they can catch a Prank Cat into some sort of CC here. Okay, the full hex right there. The full hex. There's oh, the deterrence. There you, there, the there you go. There you go. Look at that. Uh oh. Right. Now the whole team is low yeah. for the well, team of Flash Wolves, and it's really yeah. hard for a Paladin to catch it back up in this situation no. as he's completely yeah. out of cooldown. Yes. Bash, but there's another, cool another deterrence. I mean, the Warrior's low. It's not looking good. He's probably going to go down to dot damage here. Oh, there you, you go. Out. There you have it. There you have it. And wow. Skill cap one. Yes. Oh, you didn't need to tell me that. Skill cap one. Uh, tough day for the Flash Wolves. And again, where did you see the fatal uh, error coming through, gentlemen? So to it, me, it was when uh, the portal. I thought it was all about the portal. It, it absolutely was. because I just portal, said that. I had no idea, but no, it seems no, like I struck a nerve. It's extremely true. Yeah. When Talbadar was being trained right at the beginning from both the warrior and the hunter, they put out so much damage, and uh, Talbadar was able to get away from him by using the, the portal, yes. the gateway. And that's, like a, that's a huge factor for if you have a warlock on your team exactly. that you can use that gateway. You exactly. Use that gateway. Yes, yeah. please. You don't have to dumb it down for me. I'm probably the greatest gamer in the world. Uh, the portal was the key. I think we saw that. And I think uh, we saw uh, an incredible match. Incredible match. But once again, uh, we have skill cap uh, on top. Is that a quick 3-0 from them? Yep. Yep, that's going to be it. That is a quick 3-0, and, and that is be... it. This is incredible. I've seen um, skill cap play well before, but I think they're at the top of their form. Definitely. I mean, we, we knew it before we were coming into it. Now it's going to be a skill cap versus MIR coming up in the upper bracket, uh, so I think, sometime today. Is that happening? Mm -hmm. It'll be yeah. soon. Yeah. It'll be an exciting match. You yeah. know, that could be the same match that we might see in the in grand the finals, finals I tomorrow. Mean, yeah, that, that's, all, that's the level that we're at, is like a finals match here with those two teams. Yeah, it's very exciting to anyone uh, watching at home. If you do need to, to, to use the bathroom, I wouldn't even leave the room. I would uh, just relieve yourself in your pants, because this is worth staying for. Absolutely. Did you just agree with that concept? Yes. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I don't want people taking a break from the stream. No, no. You should watch this. So just relieve yourselves now on the couch that you're sitting on, because this is going to be worth watching. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to, I'm looking for, uh, by the way, a guy named Barand. Uh, he's a player that I played uh, recently, and uh, he was quite rude to me. So if anyone knows Barand and, uh, was and rude Jizzy, to Jizzy, I'm also a shout out to Jizzy. Okay, they're kicking me out now. I'm being asked to leave because I don't understand the game. <laughs> Apparently, I'm ruining everything. <laughs> hey, it, it was great having you as a color caster for us. I mean, you called many of the calls that we were going to say right before we did. Again, I think I understand the game uh, better than anyone here. Uh, thank you for allowing me to play and then for kicking me out. Yeah, thank you for uh, joining us at BlizzCon. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to, to meet you and have you here. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure for everyone else, it's, uh, it's a big deal too. So, and great to be here and it's a big crowd 
Just here to have fun. This That's is a lot of fun. Games. Yeah. I'm having a good time. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank I you. I want to thank the crowd thank for being you. here. And uh, you know, what can I say? It's all about this game. It's the name of, of which? Warcraft. World of Warcraft. That's it. Yes. All right. Sorry. I almost and said Ms. Pac-Man. Let me take this off. All right. And we have uh, Zoe on stage with our champions.